I'm trying to be positive because we're light. Jerry lost his drone. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we, we, we lost the drone. Just before uh, 7 a.m., it is very dark outside, and uh, got back last night late from Santa Cruz Bonnery area, restocked, cleaned the RV, and back on the road. Myself and Omar are heading to Laughlin, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Laughlin, Nevada. Here we come. All right, for the very first time, I am officially not driving on a road trip, which is uniquely different. Thanks to uh, Captain Omar over here, who's uh, taking the lead. I am going to enjoy the passenger seat for a while. Unlike driving with Miss Peyton, Omar, not only can he drive, but he also has great conversation about, that's right, Pop culture topic TV. So Omar and I are in this deep dive of Breaking Bad. I'm not sure if you're a Breaking Bad fan, but it's gotta be one of the more stressful series that I've watched recently. It's up there with, I'd say it's maybe top five all time best this uh, series. All time top five, that's a pretty bold statement. Sopranos, it's up there, and Game of Thrones. I wasn't one that I got kind of started late in this one, but I'm gonna have to say somewhere in there, Ozarks has gotta be it's gotta be pretty high. Now you're doing it by category or you're just doing it by like your ability to connect with the the characters in it. Those three shows that I mentioned, they 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 keep you hooked where you keep on wanting to watch more. Um, I'd say there's a lot of really good comedies. Back in the day, I really liked Seinfeld. 80s top 20 list. Number one. Okay, so I have MacGyver. That was one of my favorites, the original MacGyver growing up. Really liked the fact that on every show, he would always find a way to either make a bomb or get out of a situation. And it was always out of like just simple things. By the way, this is coming from an engineer, ladies and gentlemen. Keep in mind, this is an engineer mind. MacGyver. Number two. Number two, Omar. Hawaii 5 -0. Uh, Oh, God, I love Hawaii 5 -0. Hawaii 5 -0 and number three, Nightlight. All right, and mine from that same era, I gotta go with Magna P.I. Truth be told, I was once dressed up as Magna P.I. For November, that's right. November, Magnum PI. Currently, right now, Yellowstone has to be one that uh, that should be in consideration. You ever watched Hell on Wheels? So Hell on Wheels is a good one, but the first two episodes you basically want to sleep through. That's how I felt with Yellowstone. Yellowstone, I was like, babe, we gotta turn this off. This series is garbage. I can't do it. And then by the fourth episode, you're all in. I mean, I've definitely watched more TV in the last probably six months than I have in the last like 16 years. My, my TV viewing has probably tripled in six months, the COVID months, maybe the last five months. While many people don't like this series, it's either you're all in or you're all out. That is The Walking Dead. I have never binge watched anything my entire life, you know this. But I seriously binge watched eight seasons of Walking Dead, get this, in one week. That is a fact. About to enter Laughlin, Nevada. We're about to have some amazing fun over the next 36 hours. Omar, are you ready to rock it? I'm ready.
Legends asked, we're doing the sea dudes. Look at that epic, look at that epic background. Come on, you got like, you gotta get in there. You gotta get in there. Colorado River tomorrow, Omar, you gotta get in. Omar wins. We are going to go bowling. Omar doesn't realize that I am the bowling champion and he's gonna absolutely get dominated. They're on my shoes. Those are on my shoes. Old question of the hour is like, are we gonna wear a wetsuit or not? We're gonna look at us and say, look at those sissies wearing wetsuits. No, that's you. People always ask, Jerry, what do you do and why do you do it? Here's my answer. Anytime you're traveling as much as we are, it's always good to have a partner like RV Country. You can buy an RV anytime online. Very easy and convenient. But finding the right company to buy a RV is even more important. That's why we selected RV Country for our purchase. We wanted to make sure the buying process was easy, but more importantly, anywhere we went in the Western United States, we want to make sure that we had a partner. Uh, this is our last day here in Laughlin. Uh, we're trying to clean up a little bit, go get some breakfast. In a few hours, we'll probably be going back home. Yesterday, we went jet skiing. That was probably the highlight of the trip so far. Uh, it's a really nice morning. Pretty lucky to be here. Classic car museum we are at. Check these out. We literally just pulled over, leaving the RV park. Elmar here with this great idea. About to climb up on top of the RV right now. Cal Chen's engineer just said, get on top of the roof. I'm currently recording a 360 video because we lost a drone. It was not my idea to climb on the roof. Not only did we get in trouble for um, being on top of a booby vehicle and recording, we also got in trouble because Omar decided to jump the fence earlier today. It was a great fun trip to Laughlin with Omar. Good to get away and hang out with a, a close friend, share some laughs and some stories uh, and some adventures along the way. After spending the last five weeks on the road in the RV, I'm excited to be home for two weeks, get a few things tuned up on it, pack up and head up to Des Moines, Washington where we get to spend some time with family over Thanksgiving week.